What's up, God? I'm Ashley. I have media and clairvoyant abilities, and I use my abilities to help you live your best life. Today, this is a video for the sign of Scorpio, a general reading. If you would like a more private, more tailored, more strategic reading for your situation, click the link in my description and schedule a private reading. Whether you resonate with this or not, you know, anybody can request a private reading and if the spirit gives me a message for you i will deliver that to you um depending on when what kind of reading by emergency readings are within 24 hours um general regular readings are well not general but uh regular readings are within three to seven days sometimes i get those out sooner as well thank you for watching thank you for liking subscribing and commenting again this is a video for the sign of scorpio and Scorpio, you seem to be going through a change, maybe a powerful change that you are not so comfortable with. The first card you have is worry. When I first pulled this deck, when I first pulled the cards out for you, I'm like, oh, Scorpio is going through a change because you got two fives in a row. You got the five of this and you have the five of wands right back to back so you know five is the number of change but it's also the number of grace so note that whatever you're worried about even though this change may cause you some discomfort it may disrupt your life a little bit and you're, you're concerned about it um know that some things that happen to us that are unsettled this unsettling and uncomfortable is really god's grace you know leading us to more light and more life in our life leading us to partnership leading us to take a leap of faith so you also have the full card at the bottom of the deck showing me that this change is required for you you may need to take a leap of faith embrace this change to enhance your life in some way you have the strife card with the five of wands this light is so bright you know Anyway, you have the strike card with the five of wands, just alluding again to this situation being uncomfortable. It may be a little conflict involved in this change. It may be forced. It may, <laughs> it may, um, getting your way of living make it uncomfortable for you, make your life uncomfortable. You do not like this change at all. But again, embrace it. Take a leap of faith with the three of wands, and it's just saying, go with the flow of the universe. Go with what's going on right now. Know that it is. Follow the will of the divine in your life, the will of God in your life, and know and trust that it is for your good. Trust that this change is leading you towards more life and more life, and um, that in the long run, you'll appreciate this change, even if it's forced, even if it's unsettling, even if you're uncomfortable, even if it's a little conflict involved with it. Embrace this change. You know, view it from a place of responsibility, view it from a place of understanding, change your viewpoint on the situation, be strong, embrace it, and know that it's going to work out for your good. You know, sometimes when we have to take a leap of faith, it's, it's a leap of faith for a reason because it doesn't seem so good or it's, you know, it's that risk part of it. It's that possibility that what if it doesn't work out or it's that... Um, uncomfortable period that you have to experience before you receive the glory, but... Know that you have to accept this challenge regardless of what the result might be. Because knowing that it's for your good, regardless of what it is, it's for your good. Um, this is a pretty quick reading for you guys. I, I wish you more light and more life. Keep the faith. Embrace this change like the scorpion you are. And, you know, forge ahead. And know that good times are coming for you. And it'll get more comfortable as time goes by. And then maybe one day you'll be like, I'm glad I made that change. Or I'm glad I was forced into that change. Or I'm glad this happened into my life. All right. Peace, love, and light.